CrossFit describes itself as constantly varied, functional movements performed at high intensity. But what if we use all the tools, training advice, practices, and the methodology of CrossFit, but took away just one element? What if, instead of becoming constantly varied, we went all in on one particular movement? Ben Bergeron, head of comp train, says that when his top athletes have a weakness, they work on it relentlessly. They will perform said weakness three times a week. And if it's a bleeding weakness that could potentially derail their CrossFit season, they will hyper-focus this said weakness every day for 30 days straight. Applying this mindset, using their techniques, and finding the best approaches to achieve these goals, I'm going to teach you at home how to crush your goals, see improvement, and fill those holes. This challenge is called Ground Zero. What's going on, beasts? Welcome back to the new episode of Ground Zero, episode nine. Today, we're going to talk about the ideal circumstances and how they are never ideal. Today's session is going to be week three, session five. This is our heavy session with our strict press. Um, I believe today is an 8RM strict press or a 6RM. I don't actually quite remember uh, how far I am up to. Um, and we'll cover the lifts as we get into them. But the ideal circumstances are never ideal. It's a concept that I've created where I generally think a lot of people have the expectation to feel 100% when they get to a heavy day or a max out day. And it's just not going to happen every single time, if not maybe even ever. As long as you've been following your process accurately and consistently, the ideal circumstances will be relying on your training, relying on the progression you've been making week in, week out. And today is no different. Today's session five is three sets of three at 90%, a very demanding amount if I say. This is the first set on screen you will be watching and it is at 127 and a half kilos. By the way, for me personally, this is a three rep PR. Uh, I've never even done, I think my previous PR is 120. So this is a 127 that we're watching right now. For me, after this rep, I did feel as if the weight was probably a little bit too more aggressive for me. I wasn't feeling 100%. I wasn't in the right headspace to be able to achieve it for the two more sets. So I did the smart thing. I backed off. I went the remaining two sets of singles at that weight still, still producing big weights, uh, but not quite hitting the rep range required for this particular session. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing that is ever wrong with backing off because you may have gone too hard, too heavy, or maybe you're just not feeling 100% is your ego taking a hit. If you can deal with your ego taking a hit, then backing off is completely fine, if not even more acceptable. This way, at least, I'm able to control the circumstances and the outcome of that performance for this particular lift. When you get to a competition, shit can go wrong. Things can happen that you're not prepared for. And our training is a great way to fall back on if shit hits the fan. And this circumstance is definitely a good example of that. If I get to a training day, I'm just on 100%. I just don't feel like I'm able to achieve the numbers I set out to. I know to back off is actually the smart thing. To hit lower numbers and shoot lower than my expectations will give me a better result in the long run. On screen, we're looking at our strict press today. Once again, last week, 10RM, week before, 12RM, this week, 8RM. I believe 62.5 kilos was the weight I was able to achieve, and every week, this is a freaking grind. This overhead press component, like, I'm not doing much overhead press. This is actually the only uh, vertical pressing movement we have in this program. 
Um, but still happy with the effort nevertheless. I believe this is like 140-ish pounds um, or 62 and a half kilos. So impressed with the effort. And the back offsets seem to be a very similar theme. I, I struggled to hit the, uh, the acquired reps, which I believe this one was four to six repetitions. I think I maybe pushed out the four, if not maybe even five reps in those two sets. Uh, why this may be, um, lockout strength is definitely a struggling movement and it is post heavy bench press as well. Um, if I was fresher, maybe I would be able to produce 65 possibly, but once again, you never know these, it's not like, you know, I've got a crystal ball and I can tell, yep, I'm definitely going to hit more weight if I was to do this first, because the bench press of course is the priority that 150 kilos is the goal. So the bench press itself takes precedence over any other lift. Otherwise, I was fairly happy with this in itself. Um, and I feel like with the progression and how things are going, I mean, potentially 150, but definitely a PR when it comes to the bench press nonetheless. Finishing off the session, we've got our accessories. I've sped it up for your convenience. Uh, and we are looking at T's, Y's, and A's. My girlfriend playing around with the camera. Uh, 10 of each rep, uh, and I believe it's at a 9 RP this week. And then finishing off with our shoulder external rotations. Two sets of 15 each side at that 9 RPE. That's all, folks. Like, subscribe, check out my website, absolutebeast.org. And I'll see you guys on Ground Zero, Episode 10, getting ready for the heavy week. You guys at home, stay a beast.